Hi everyone. So I'm going to put this up and then I'm going to do a, a new love reading today too. I know I need to finally do that. So that'll be posted later today, um, late afternoon, evening, Pacific Standard Time, somewhere around there. But I just wanted to take a minute to say that, you know, men really need more spiritual support in the, the community right now on YouTube just in general. And when I say spiritual support, I don't mean babying them. I don't mean that you have to coddle them. I don't mean that you have to make excuses for them. Like a lot of the the women that I channel, it's like you guys are at that point where you have been through hell and back for some of the men in your lives. And you have had to push them and push them and push them to get in touch with their higher self, to get in touch with their soul, to get on a, a higher timeline, a higher path to really, you know, be their true self, to be who they want to be, to, to work on themselves. You know, a lot of you have had to be almost like counselors for these, for these men because they haven't, you know, been seeking their own counselors. They haven't been doing the work themselves and you've almost had to do the work for them in a way. So I totally understand that a lot of you are just exhausted and you, you almost have like a negative perception of men at a point because of that, because you've gone through so much, but I just want to say, so I just want to, you know, mention that energy difference. When I say support men that are going on this spiritual path, I don't mean baby them. I don't mean coddle them. I don't mean make excuses for them. I don't mean let them take you for granted, let them walk all over you. That's not what I mean. But if you want to attract a, a spiritually evolved man, it's, it's important. I'm seeing some of you have this like mentality of like men cannot be spiritually evolved because of what you've seen. You almost see all men as as low vibrational at this point. Like you you don't associate men with spirituality anymore for some of you. And so if you really want to either attract a spiritually evolved man or, you know, if you're in like a twin flame connection or something like that and you're just hoping for your person to become spiritually evolved, it, it's really good to find more of that balance um, and kind of changing your perception of what it means to support because for some of you it's like you've let people you've let these men like walk all over you or treat you like crap and you've considered that like like I'm a ride or die this is like this is my you know definition of support so so it's kind of I feel like some of you are being kind of guided to change your your definition your perception of how you support these men because some of you are kind of going back and forth between like, I'm a ride or die. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put myself through all this for them. And then you end up kind of resenting them for it. And then, um, and there's a message here for men as well, too. I'm going to get to that. But, you know, you guys kind of go through that, that mentality of like, I'm, I'm a ride or die. I'm going to, I'm going to go through this for them. I'm going to, I'm going to push them. I'm going to be loyal to them. I'm going to show them true love. Even, you know, I'm, I'm going to stand by their side no matter what. And then there's that resentment that comes in. And then you shift to the opposite end of the spectrum where you're just like, you know, men are garbage. Like, I can't trust men. Men, you know, again, not not associating men with spirituality, feeling like men are just kind of weak minded, like they're just all about their ego. They're all about pride. They're all about their fear. So it's really important to find more of a balance. So you're not driving yourself crazy for one thing, going from one extreme to the other. Um, and again, changing your perspective on what it means to support, finding a way to be supportive and, you know, send your person healing energy, send them love, but don't do it in a way that's going to drain you or make you resent them. Don't, don't allow them to walk all over you. Um, be, it's kind of like holding space for someone. There's, there's a difference between waiting for someone and actually just holding space. So when you're waiting, you're, you're putting your life on hold. But when you're holding space for your person, it's a, it's like you have space in your life. Like if they need, if they come to you and seek that support, you're there to help them with that. Um, if they come to you in a more evolved way, you might be open to something. You know what I mean? Like you're you're holding. There's a space in your life for them, but you're not waiting for them, and you're also open to, you know, new people, new opportunities, new situations. They're they're not controlling your life. They're not. Um, you know what I mean? You know, the energy difference. So it, it's like, you know, offering that support. Some of you that do witchcraft, you know, you can even if you feel called to if you feel, you know, talk to your spirit guides, but some of you can do spell work for them, you know, healing spells and protection spells and those kind of things if you feel like it would help them on their path. But um, but again, use discernment, only do it if, if your spirit guides allow that if they're if you're feeling 
like they're asking you to do that. But, um, but yeah, I think that changing, you know, for some of you changing your, pers your perspective, your understanding on, on what it means to support them, finding more of that balanced perspective is going to help you stay, uh, more grounded, more neutral, um, in a more in a state of flow instead of going back and forth from from one end of the the spectrum to the other um and there's more i want to say to that i know i'm rambling but just just stay with me i'm going to make this one short but um but yeah it, it's important i feel like to be in that state too if you're trying to attract a spiritually evolved man because when you're in this state over here where you're allowing when you're when you're seeing support as um, and like I said, I do have a message for the men here. So stick with me. I'm talking to the women first and then I'm going to talk to the, you know, those that identify as male after this. But, um, but for those of you that are identifying as, as female, it, it's like, uh, or, or in that feminine energy, at least, um, it's like when you're on that end of the spectrum where you're seeing support in a toxic way, you're seeing support, you're, you're seeing it as, you know, people just use me, people take me for granted, people are just draining me. Like you see support in a kind of, um, like, like your perception has shifted because of these people that have just used you because of these people that have just, um, taken that love and empathy for granted. They've taken your, your spirituality for granted, you know, and they haven't wanted to do the work themselves. They've wanted you to do the work for them. You've wanted, they've wanted you to be in the masculine role. They've wanted you to, uh, to take on all the burdens for them. And so they've kind of like, you know, being that energy kind of gets everything twisted and it gets, it kind of creates this stagnation. And so I think when you're in that energy and you're just, you're seeing support that way, then you end up getting in these situations where, you know, you're with these, you attract more people that are in that same energy where you have to give and give and give. And you're not, you know, this could be friendships, this could be work, this could be love. It's multiple areas where you might end up in more situations because you're just seeing it as, you know, this is support. This is what loyalty is. This is what I have to do if I love this person. And then you give and give and give and you're drained and you're not getting anything in return. So you need to make sure in your connections that there's this mutual give and take. Um, so it's like, you know, being in that energy of seeing support as, as, you know, some is having that perception of support. It's like, it really kind of just ends up, um, you know, hurting you in the end. Cause it's, it's like you end up, you know, you, you have that perception. So you, you go that, you know, I'm a ride or die. So I'm going to, I'm going to do this. And then you end up in more situations where you, it's, it's like you attract that, you know, where you're ending up in more situations where you have to give and give and give and push them and you're not getting anything in re return. You're not getting that support in return. You're not being supported when you're at a low point, but you support them when they're at a low point. You're not being loved, um, you know, fully, you know, you're not having them express love when you feel down, but you're, you're expressing love to them when they're feeling down. You know what I mean? It's like, you, you don't want to, you don't want to keep that, that, same limited perspective. You know what I mean? If you, if you change your perspective and have this different perspective of support and more of a balance, um, you kind of need to redo some things here. It seems like for those that keep bouncing from one end of the spectrum, there's something that's not working that needs to be redone. Um, and I, I primarily channel, so I know I'm not using cards, but I, I can psychically like get the information in multiple ways. So I'm not, um, I'm not just rambling when I talk about stuff like this, you know what I mean? Like this is still coming from my spirit guides, from your spirit guides, from, you know, the energies that are here. But, um, on the other end of the spectrum, on the other end of the spectrum, it's like, you know, you end up with that resentment towards them that, you know, again, not associating men with spirituality, feeling like they're just not capable of change. Like they're not capable of growth. Like they're not capable of being real men. They're not capable of being your match. Um, and it's good to be assertive and protect yourself. You know, that's, that's kind of how you, you merge. You're merging all these different energies and creating something new, creating a, a perception that's going to allow you to flow because these two pers perspectives right here, it's almost like they leave you stagnant. They're, they're, it's, it's one end of one extreme to the other, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, if you want to attract a spiritually evolved man, you, you have to kind of open up to, to believing that, you know, spiritually evolved men are out there that not, not necessarily looking for them, but just believing that, that, that they're capable of that. And I also want to say, I'm, I am seeing 
like, cause I do understand the frustration, but I am seeing like the past year or so, just from what I'm like, when I tune into the collective, into this energy, I am actually seeing a lot of men that are finally evolving. Um, and I, I feel like this could even be people from your past too. Like this might not even be people that you have any desire to be with anymore. This could be people from like years ago. Like, I feel like there's might have been soulmates that you were with, you know, I'm getting for someone like three, four or five years ago, like a long time ago. And, you know, you kind of gave up on it and you, you might not even be in contact with these people anymore. And they actually are spiritually evolving. Like there are a lot of men. I feel like especially in the twin flame community, it's like there's almost like these like sets of like higher level soulmates and twin flames. Like it comes in waves kind of, I feel like. And so I feel like for like the, the, I don't know, like the last set from like three, four years ago, for some of you, it's like, or, or like, like soulmates that you're with, it's like, they are evolving. And then for some of you that are like in the energy where it's like your, your twin flame is someone you met, like, you know, the past year or so it's like, there's still a process before they get to that state of evolving. But, but anyway, what I'm trying to say is like, I am seeing more and more men that are spiritually waking up. They are exploring tarot and they are exploring oracle and they are oracle decks and they are looking into twin flames and soulmates and energy and spirituality and some of them are exploring witchcraft even you know some of them are exploring um they, they're just they they are they are evolving spiritually they are a lot even if your specific person isn't don't let that one person taint your view of men in general you know what I mean don't let that one person make you feel like none of these men are spiritually evolving just because they aren't or because they haven't yet because their path is still you know up and down and a little bit chaotic and it may be taking them a little bit longer than it is for you know people from the past three or four years or whatever but don't let that one person distort your your perception of all men um because I'm seeing it like I'm seeing it in the community a lot too it's like these there's even male psychics, you know, a lot of men are, are really stepping into their power and they really are getting on this path. And this path is, it's open for men just as much as it is for women. Like men are just as capable of being psychic and being on their spiritual path. They have just as much capability of, you know, being in their power and channeling and being in that intuitive energy as we do. I think the thing is that, you know, society tells a lot of men, that they have to be, you know, strong all the time, or they have to, society kind of has a warped definition of what it means to be strong, what it means to be um, powerful, you know, and so a lot of these men kind of get brainwashed from, and that's where you can kind of hold empathy for them, you know, because it's, it's like we all deal with different things, but a lot of men get brainwashed from a, from a very young age to, think that that being macho and being you know egotistical and prideful and shutting people out and playing games and not expressing your feelings a lot of men are led to believe that that's what it means to be strong and that that to me personally is the opposite of strength i think true alpha males like men that are truly strong are the kind of men that express their emotions verbally emotionally like they just they express their emotions they they find themselves and when they find themselves, they know who they are and they stick to that. They don't let anybody, they have that integrity to not let people get in their head and take them off their path. Even if they, even if they stumble a little bit, they come back to themselves. Like men that are really true in themselves, men that, men that express their emotions, men that do the pursuing, men that step up, men that are open to being wrong. They're open to other perspectives. Um, men that are protectors, uh, you know, men that, men that are just in tune with their emotions and go after what they want. To me, that's a true alpha male. That's, that's somebody that's, that's a true man right there. You know, that, that daddy energy, that's sexy to me. That's, that's, you know, I, I think it's, it's attractive when a man expresses his, his emotions and knows what he wants and goes for it. But you have to understand a lot of these men are kind of struggling, um, with that perception because they're not used to that. They weren't taught that uh, in society, you know what I mean? Especially if they're growing up, you know, in, in earlier generations where there was still kind of like more of a sexist mentality. It was like, you know, men are just there to, to work and work and work and work and that's it. And they're not, you know, men were taught that they're not meant to be in a feminine energy. Like they're not meant to be intuitive. They're not meant to be emotional. They have to, 
they have to, you know, hide their emotions all the time. And that's what it means to be a man. So a lot of these men are kind of, um, they are coming into this evolved perspective where they're like, okay, men these days do express their emotions and that is attractive. And that is what, you know, women are seeking. That is what people are, are drawn to. Um, and gay men as well, you know, this, is, this applies to, to gays and lesbians as well. It applies to everybody. But, um, but like understand where they're at too, where a lot of these men that I'm channeling, they are kind of going back and forth. They're like, well, like what the hell? Like I was, you know, I was, I grew up in childhood being taught that this is what real men do. And now, you know, in the spiritual community and like these women are showing me that like, you know, this is what is, is, you know, expressing my emotions. That's what's really going to get me on my path. That's genuine. So they're kind of, you know, they're struggling with this, these conflicting, um, conflicting energies here basically with these conflicting perspectives what they were taught and a lot of them did go through abuse of childhoods a lot of them did go through I feel like a lot of people that are really spiritual and really deep did go through abuse of childhoods that's part of that emotional depth um it's like you can't um what is it what, there's like a saying in the spiritual community what is it you can't really you, you can't really be a I mean I don't want to say you can't for sure but like I've noticed a lot of the the love and light, positive vibes only healers are they haven't really had a lot of life experience. They don't they don't know what true loneliness is. They just tell you to stick a bandaid on it, and you know you're you're fine on your own. You got everything you need. Like they they don't go in depth. They don't know how to do shadow work. But the true genuine healers, like the ones that know how to how to purge, how to do shadow work, how to go deep. Um, you know, a lot of those healers have been abused. They've gone through a lot in childhood. That's part of, of being a true healer. What is that quote? It's like, um, you you can't be capable of great good or something like that if you're not capable of great evil as well. There's both ends of the spectrum where it's like if you're if you're capable of being a true healer, you also have the capable of capability of destruction. You have both those energies inside you and you kind of merge the darkness and the light. But um but yeah, anyway, it's it's like a lot of these men are capable of being great healers. They are capable of being great psychics. They are trying to get they are trying to get on their spiritual path now. I'm I'm seeing more and more of that. And I'm seeing more men on my YouTube channel as well, which I really I appreciate that. I like that. There's more men that are that are seeking out tarot readings, that are seeking out um you know, that are seeking out psychics that are really opening themselves up. Finally, they're, they're not as afraid of their intuition. They're actually realizing they're having these epiphanies. They're recognizing that, you know, the true nature of the world, they're, they're, rec they're recognizing these things. They're, they're connecting with their spirit guides. And so some of them are looking up tarot readings and they do need that support in the community because so many of these readings are still completely focused on women it's it's all about the divine feminine and there's not really very many that are about the divine masculine so it'd be really nice to see more channels like supporting you know both genders here um all genders here i, I should say you know whatever you identify as but um But yeah, I just, I just, I, I know like sometimes when I channel, I ramble. So I hope you guys could keep up with all that. I know sometimes I need to slow down a little bit and talk slower, but there's so much information that just comes through all at once. Like that's kind of how it works in like the higher realms too, when you're channeling, like, cause these spirits that are in the higher realms, like they, the energy is quick up there. So it, it's not, it takes a bit to like ground it and like, you know, slow it down a little bit sometimes, <laughs> especially when it's like an overload, like, like all this was, but, um, I didn't end up needing these, but but anyway, yeah, I just want to say like, you know, to, to men, you know, keep, you know, have that empathy, have that understanding that a lot of these women don't, they don't hate you. They're just, they're exhausted. They're, they're just, they're tired. They're tired of, you know, they've dealt with a lot of men where they've had to guide them and baby them and try to teach them how to be in a masculine role and try to teach them how to get in touch with their feminine energy and tried to, you know, had to teach them how to express their emotions and all that. And it's almost like they've had to be in these motherly roles and they're, they want to be in a partnership now. They want to be in a, you know, whether it's with this person that's, you know, not evolved, but evolving or somebody new that's already evolved. They, they want it. They don't want to be in a motherly role anymore. They want to be in a partnership with, with somebody that's emotionally expressive that goes after what they want. Somebody that's going to take care of them and understand them and give them that safe space to be in their feminine energy, give them a safe space to be gentle and vulnerable. 
Um, so like understand that they, you know, a lot of these women don't hate you. They're just, they're just tired. They're just very, they're very exhausted. They're very, you know, some of them are very sad. It's like, they've gone through a lot with uninvolved men. So try to have that understanding, um, and try to seek out their support in a way that's, you know, again, balanced. Don't expect them to do the work for you. But, you know, as you as you guys seek out, you know, tarot and oracle and energy work and whatever you feel called to do, you know, don't let society block you. Don't let society tell you that that's not for men because it is for men as much as it is for women. And it's becoming more and more for men. There's there's I'm actually picking up a really big energy today that I didn't expect, but it's it's almost like a societal shift. It's like this is like a large energy group I'm channeling right now. This isn't like this is like I would say thousands, thousands, millions of people. This is like a lot of people. This is this is like a there's like some kind of energy shift that's going on for a huge collective right now. Um like a new perspective that I feel like is coming in, especially in the twin flame community. But anyway, yeah, just, just understand that they, you know, most of them, I don't, I can't speak for all of them. Most of them don't hate you guys. Most of them just, again, they, they don't want to have to do the work for you all the time. They want to see you step up and be their equal and do the work for yourself sometimes too. And also support them when they need you. Cause a lot of these women, I feel like these women are very strong. And sometimes, you know, you, you men, like you kind of forget that they can't do everything on their own because spiritual women are very powerful. They're very strong, but they still, they're still vulnerable. They're still emotion, they emotional. You know what I mean? Like we all are, we all need people. It's human nature to need people. So understand that even if she is strong and powerful, like she, she still needs love. She still needs loyalty. She still needs support. Um, and, and, you know, just, just stepping up and, and doing, pursue your spiritual path yourself uh, to even, even with or with or without her support, just in general, pursue your spiritual path. Keep, you know, looking for readings that are, that are resonating with you, um, you know, getting into spirituality, getting into, you know, like I said, all of this is for men just as much as it is for women. So, so getting on your spiritual path and really opening your mind up. And for a lot of you, it takes a leap of faith because, you know, like you, you guys are going back and forth between what you were taught, what society taught you, what you were taught in childhood about, you know, this this kind of macho bullshit about, you know, having to suppress your emotions and having to it just that energy. It's not attractive to women anymore. Honestly, it's not masculine energy is attractive to most women, but that there's an energy difference between like being macho and being truly masculine, like you know, a man that will, will get in a fight for me is honestly, that's a huge turn on for me. That is, that is not for all women, but for me it is, but that's a difference between a man that's going to fight for me when it's really necessary when I'm in danger and a man that just wants to fight everybody just because of his ego. You know what I mean? It's, it's a similar energy, but it's, it's lower vibrational. There's, there's a difference in energy there. Um, and women can tell too. Women can tell when you're a genuine protector, a genuine provider, like you're genuinely protecting her and giving her a safe space. And when you're just kind of pretending to protect her because it it makes you feel powerful because it's all about you. It's all about your ego, you wanting a fight. There's there's that energy difference there. You understand? Um, so being a genuine protector and not not like a, a toxic karmic masculine kind of protector. I hope that I hope that makes sense. But um, anyway, sorry. So, so what I was saying is, is yeah, you know, keep getting on your spiritual path. Don't listen to society. Don't listen to childhood wounds, childhood upbringing. You know, a lot of you are really fighting to shift into this new perspective and it's going to require a leap of faith. It's not going to feel familiar at first. It's going to, it's going to be a trial and error process. You know what I mean? To, to get past that old conditioning. And, you know, as you explore spirituality too, it's good to, uh, you know, protect yourself. You need to, to when, if you're doing spell work or anything like that, you do need to use protection. You do need to clear your energy, ground yourself. Um, some of you even just go out in nature and just take your shoes off and just be in nature and just ground, do some grounding exercises. That's, that's pretty safe. Just, just make that start. You know what I mean? Make that start those, that start on your spiritual path. Um, you know, connecting with nature, uh, just opening your mind up, opening up to to new perspectives, to multiple perspectives. Um, you know, really just pursuing your spirituality and not letting anybody take you off your path, what feels right to you intuitively. Really reconnecting with your spirit guides and, and again, using safety techniques and 
precautions as you do so. But it's but yeah, for a lot of you, it will require a leap of faith and it will require some effort to get past the old conditioning. Um, and then for women, you know, just kind of kind of again, you know, like what we were talking about, shifting your perspective and finding a more balanced perspective. And there is there are very few universal truths out there. Like everybody, you know, a lot of people in the spiritual community, they want they want some one size fits all universal truth. And there's not very many of those out there, honestly. What works for me might not work for you and vice versa. So you have to you have to develop your own perspective. You have to do what feels right for you. You know what I mean? Because, you know, our perspective is like based on past lives. It's based on our soul contracts. It's based on you know, what we've experienced this lifetime, it's based on childhood upbringing, it's based on so many things. So you really have to find what puts you in that state of flow of alignment of manifesting what you want. When are you happiest? You know what I mean? Like, for me personally, like, I'm not one of those love and light only healers. Like I, you know, I'm, I'm more emotional, I'm more um, in tune with my emotions. I'm not one of those, like, put a bandaid on it kind of healers. I am, you know, when things are very raw and authentic and deep, that's that's where I thrive the most when I'm in that more, you know, authentic space. So you really, but that doesn't work for everybody. If you know that that doesn't work for everybody, you got to find what works for you. You got to find where you manifest the most. But, but anyway, yeah, just just with these men, it's like you know, I completely understand you guys are exhausted. Um. Again, try to hold space for them in a way where they're they're not. You have to you have to set boundaries. You have to be strong, of course, but but hold space for them in a way where it's almost like men and women are like against each other right now in the spiritual community in a way. You know what I mean? Where it's like men are finally coming into the spiritual community. They're finally starting to explore these things, and a lot of women are kind of like, "Screw you! It's too late. You had your chance years ago to to get you know get on your path." Um, so I think we need to shift out of that collectively. We need to shift out of that mentality and, and allow space for these men to come in and be leaders and be psychics and be healers themselves. And to also learn from, you know, both male and female and, and, you know, whatever other genders are out there to, to learn from everybody too, to, to, to really, they need to be welcomed in the spiritual community more. Um, is basically what I'm saying. And I feel like there's going to be more of a, I, f I feel like, how do I explain this energy? Because I'm, I'm seeing like a, like a, uh, like I'm feeling and kind of visualizing almost like this like stagnation, but it's like these two energies going up against each other. So like some of you are trying to manifest new love, but you still have this mentality of like men can't be evolved or men, you know what I mean? Like your energy, you might not be aware of it, but it's almost like your energy might be somewhat pushing out these men from like the spiritual community and also from your love life as well because you're in that perspective, you know what I mean? Um, so I think men and women, I think like, you know, all genders need to kind of get on the same page a little bit more and opening up and, and letting, again, don't, don't do the work for them. Let them show you just kind of invite these men into the spiritual community, kind of put that intention in there, invite it into the spiritual community, but they still have to do the work themselves. They still have to do, they have to pursue their spiritual path themselves. Even if they have support, they still have to do the work themselves and they still have to, you know, you know, they have to, they have to show you something. They have to show the collective something. They have to, you know, like it's up to them to go down this path, to go down, to do what they want to do. But, um, but yeah, I feel like holding that space for them, I feel like it's really gonna, like it's it, inviting them in, into the, the spiritual community. I feel like it's going to actually like, for a lot of you, I feel like it's also going to manifest new love for you as well, because this perspective shift, I think is going to bring in that, that, um, it's like it's going to open up something for you is basically what I'm feeling in a really positive way. So I hope that resonates. I hope that makes sense. Um, just finding that balance. So I'm going to go ahead and let, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if this makes sense to you. Um, I don't know if you guys like these rants. You prefer more of just like the readings, but I'm, I am going to do a love reading. I'm going to do I'm going to put some reading ups readings up today. So thank you guys for watching this.